Dollar Tree haul for everyone. So let's jump in because this is a pretty big one. Let's go. First thing is, is I picked up three of these Crafter Square sequins. And they're in the um, ombre that goes to a light pink to a dark purple. And I picked up all they had. I really liked that these are separate by color because I hate when you buy a big bag and you're only looking for one color and you have to go through them all. So I'm excited that I found these. Next is I picked up um, the basket bags, a pack of two. I'm doing um, a vendor show later this month and for Stella and Dot. And I like to um, box up some of my empty boxes for a display and I like to use these. I picked up the Sweetness of Life book by Francoise Hertier. I picked up the Extreme Cakeovers book. Um, I actually picked this up for my mom and I was like, oh, this is a dollar. This would be really fun for her. She owns a bakery. And I wonder what the retail value is on this. What does it say? There's like stickers covering the barcode. So I'm like, I don't know how much, but it doesn't matter. It was a dollar at the dollar store. So it just includes fun things. I'm hungry looking at it. Next is I found more of the adult coloring books. This is a different variety than I hauled in a, um, a recent video. These are a little bit smaller. Um, these are by the Clever Factory. And they're animals, florals, paisleys, and patterns. So I'm excited for these. Um, I picked up one of each of these that I found. Next is these origami kits. These are super fun. I actually picked up the flowers one um, a week or two ago and I've been um, doing it at work. So I was like, I'm kind of obsessed with this. So I picked up more. Um, I picked up mermaids, princess, woodland animals, and Alice's Tea Party. So there's Alice's Tea Party. Animals. Mermaids. And princesses. And it includes 12 sheets. Three of each kind. There's four different patterns. They have like a play mat thing. Which is basically like a background. And instructions. So those are fun. They're for kids but uh, I'm a doll and I like them so keeps me busy keeps my mind occupied all right next is I picked up tablecloth weights I like the weight of these and the fact they had clips on them I picked up a bag of melon hauls um melon splash I've never seen like a melon flavor before so I wanted to give this a shot and it doesn't expire until August so that's great I picked up um, some elf brushes I picked up the fan brush which I like to use for um, highlighter as well as to dust off any um, eyeshadow that falls when I'm applying it I picked up one of the smudge brushes I really like to use this in the crease. And then I picked up three of the concealer brushes. These are great for concealer as well as any small detailed um, eye color. So I always like to have a cup on hand so that I can use them to blend. If I'm using multiple colors, I don't have to wash my brush in between. I picked up quite a number of the Essie nail strips. Um, I tried these before and I really liked them, so I wanted to buy more and they were only a dollar versus like the drugstore, they're much more expensive. So I picked up four of the Croc Madame, it's like this alligator print. One of the Slick With Style, it's like a nude with dots. One of the Croc and Chic, it's like a crocodile in brown. And then one of the Show Me Your Stuff. Next, I have 
three of the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brushes. I didn't know Wet n Wild um, came out with brushes, so I was really um, interested about trying these. And I do like how they come in like a resealable bag, which is really fun for traveling. I picked up some of the Goody Hair Elastics. These are classic to have, and I seem to always lose them because the cats find them and then they go missing. If you have cats, you know what I mean. Next in here, actually this is actually from um, Ocean State Job Lot, but I figured I'd include it just because it was in this bag. Um, the Lumine Sensitive Touch Gentle Toner. Um, I really like the Sensitive Touch brand. So when I found this for like $6 at Ocean State Job Lot, I had to grab it. And then um, just a couple other things that are in here from Ocean State Job Lot are I found two Milani face powders. They're exactly the same. Um, and it's in light. It's the Multitasking Tasker base powder. And it's a setting, finishing, and blotting powder. So these were $3 each. Back to Dollar Tree. I picked up two of the Carmex lip balms. I think I had a coupon for um, a dollar off two. These are great. Just I keep them around, especially in the winter time. I get I cracked corners and I just put these in. Next is I picked up two of the mini. Actually, I guess they're not so mini. I thought they were, but they're not. Um, Beauty Blenders, the sassy and chic brand. I'm not sure how these will work. Um, I'll be curious to find out. And if they don't last that long, that's okay. Or if they don't, if they don't work that great. They'll be fine for traveling or swatching. Next is I picked up another one of the Wet n Wild Brulee eyeshadows. I actually already have this, but I really liked this formula and this color. So I decided to pick up another one to have because as soon as I find something I like, um, it seems to like go away. So I wanted to have an extra one on hand. It's great for a base shadow, a highlight, and also like a transition. <clears throat> Next is the e.l.f. Lip Balm Tint in um, Grapefruit. I actually picked up two of these. I had an open one to show you guys, but I don't know where it went. And I don't want to open up another one. But um, it's not a bad, it's just a lip balm tint, and it doesn't smell like grapefruit. I wish it did. It doesn't. Next is the e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine. And I don't know what color. Oh, it's in Pink Kiss. And it's already open because I actually filmed this video already. And then I found a bunch of stuff that I forgot to include in the video. Like this morning. So I filmed, originally filmed yesterday. So I was like, I'll just refilm it. No biggie. So this is the lip gloss. It's cute. It kind of smells like grape. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's a little sweet for me. Next is Wet n Wild Dark Wine Lipstick. Which is really pretty. Let's just go ahead and put it on. Nice dark lipstick. I really like their lipsticks. I've been really surprised. Um, they just seem to go on well and last through, I drink through a straw, so, I mean, I do have to reapply throughout the day, but I don't mind. And then last is Hot Red. Just a red. So, I'm excited to try these out. And then last but not least, I will show you my favorite thing last. I found these adorable turquoise flower storage bins. So they also came in uh, orange, green, and pink. And I grabbed this tur turquoise aqua color because um, that's Dell and Dot colors. So I picked up two of this size. Two of the little bit larger size. And then two of like the letter tray size. And the fun thing is about these is that they have the sizes on the bottom. So if you're looking to fit something specific in here, 
you can just flip it over and it tells you. I don't know if you can like see that, but it's there. So that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope. <laughs> hope I didn't find anything else lurking around that I forgot to include. And if I did, I'll just do it in my next video. So if you enjoy these haul videos, please give them a thumbs up so I know that you like them and I'll continue to do so. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this. All right. Stay sassy and sweet. Bye.